So I was gonna start the episode off as I usually do. But of course the son of a gun Balba decided to call me before I can even start. Oh hi Dan! This is Warden Balba! We've come up with new objects. With these you should be able to meet lots of different Pokemon. Do your best! Alright. Freaking idiot. I don't know why he just to call me out of a all of a sudden, but that's what he does. Anyways, hey everybody, it's Chris Time 4. Welcome back once again to Heart Gold Soul Silver. We're here, um, doing stuff as per usual. Last time we kind of just spent, as far as I'm concerned, we... No, no, that was the episode prior to that. Last episode we actually took on the Celadon City Gym, fought Erica, and absolutely destroyed that gym with, uh, with Bradley, our Typhlosion. So that was really cool. Very fun, uh, experience that was. But today, we have made ourselves, uh, over here to... Is it gonna show it? Route 17, in which this is Cycling Road. The Cycling Road, as you probably remember from Fire Relief Green, um, is a bicycle only route. You can only use the bicycle here, you cannot uh, get off the bicycle. Unless you're playing uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, in which that case, the Cycling Road has changed immensely. I'll show a quick picture of it on the screen if I can find a full map. Um, but yeah, it, you, it's an insanely different route in uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. So, anyways, uh, while we're here, I might as well just mention the Pokemon very quickly, as there are some. It's basically just the same thing as Route 16, just without the, uh, the headbutt stuff. So, Fearow, Grimer, Muck, you can get Slugma for 5%, uh, Plusle, Minin, uh, if you use the Hoenn sound, and Shinx if you use the um, Sinnoh sound. Uh, one thing that's actually interesting about this place is that I'm pretty positive... Hold on, okay, now we're gonna get into the actual, like, cycling road portion, and there's gonna be trainers here. If I'm not mistaken, I think there is, like, water that's around here. Um, first off, you cannot surf at all in this route, as you could probably imagine. And you can also not fish. The only instance, actually, of being able to fish in this route is in Gen 1, in red, blue, and I believe yellow as well. You can actually fish in this route, but after that, you cannot. It just, they don't even let you. So, just a nice little note of that. I don't know, I just kind of read it uh, right before the episode. I'm like, you know, I might as well talk about that real quickly. And there, go there goes Gulpin. What's going to be really nice about this route is that Charles is probably going to be an insane, an insane one to use because, um, obviously, these bikers tend to uh, rely a lot on poison types. And um, as you could probably imagine, poison is weak to ground. And yeah, so you, you just kind of connect the dots. This is one of the instances where we cannot rely on ground. But we can actually do rock slide. I would do crunch. However, I feel like rock slide's gonna do more because we get stabbed from it. We don't get stabbed from crunch just yet. This should be. Yeah, I should resist that, because I think it's a normal type move, if I'm not mistaken. But, double hit's also a very interesting move, because it actually uh, is required for... I'm pretty sure it's required, I don't know if it... I don't, I don't understand how the evolution works, maybe I'm just mistaken and just being stupid. Um, but I know, like, I think if you evolve Scyther into Caesar, he learns double hits? Maybe, I don't know, I could be very mistaken about that, but it's one of the two no double hits. I don't think it's necessary to have it in order to evolve, but I mean, it's there, so... I think I just thought about double hit and connected it with Caesar and Scyther, because in Pokemon Unite, a game I've been playing a decent amount of, they learn the move, and I'm pretty sure... Forgetting if, like, they can both learn it or whatever, I don't know. Oh my gosh, training phone numbers! I... Can't even remember the last time we actually did that. Uh, so you know what? I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I mean, just... Okay, listen, I don't really use the concept all that much. I really don't. It's a cool mechanic, I like it. But, especially for some people, it could be very, very useful. Especially for, like, trainer rematches. This is a bad matchup. I'm going to switch out. Um, generally, just go for Thor. I mean, like, it's probably the better choice. Yeah, let's do that. But, um... Uh, uh, it's it's not something that I use myself. However, I do just like the fact that I just I like the idea of um, are we? I can't even finish my my sentence without having to deal with stuff like this. 
As I was saying, sorry. I just, I like being able to collect all the phone numbers you can get in this game. And obviously, since I talk to, like, basically everyone, I'm pretty sure you can only... Well, except, like, the main, main people, like, the big characters in the game, like, you know, the Professor, Lyra, yada yada, Balba, you know, you can, uh, only really get phone numbers from trainers that you fight. Thor, please. Please. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Can't tell you how much I freaking hate confusion. I forgot that Tentacruel resists uh, bug. I genuinely forgot that was a thing. Thank goodness that uh, I didn't screw myself by going with uh, signal being there. Another person! Damn! I mean, okay, that's cool. Again, I don't remember like seeing this. Uh, oh crap! Double battle. I don't remember seeing this uh, for a while. Actually, I believe the last time was like towards the end of main game. To be fair, though, it must have just been a while for me, because like, again, I have I haven't recorded uh, you know the main game since late June. So you know, there's that. This is gonna be an interesting match. Uh, I don't like Crow Gunk because it's, I think it's half fighting and can do damage to Charles. However, we do have Bryce, so... Oh, this is gonna be perfect! We'll do Earthquake and it won't even hit Bryce. Go in Aerial Ace on Crow Gunk. Do some really solid damage there. I don't think it's gonna kill, but... It does- Damn! Okay! Jamie wasn't expecting that, but Bryce is just too freaking powerful right now. I bet freaking Char Okay, I bet Charles would be powerful as hell too, you know, if he could evolve. But that's gonna be taking a little bit more time than I would like. We have five levels until Charles evolves. And the sucky part is, is that because Charles is a pseudo-legendary, you know, the amount of XP it takes to go up just one level is insane. Compared to like a regular po- like, you know, like Ampharos for example, right? The Ampharos line. Or, or even the Crobat line. Uh, probably just Rock Slide, and then we'll do Aerial Ace again. No reason to switch it up. Well, I mean, for Charles, obviously, because we can't go Earthquake. But for Bryce, might as well stay the same. That's not gonna kill. Okay. How much that does it do? Oh, let's go, Charles! I was mistaken! My apologies! My biggest apologies! I did not expect that to kill. Alright, Biker Dan. Apparently, funny enough how the guy named Dan has the most Pokemon. Uh, the same thing as the other Weezing. Hopefully I can get lucky with the kill this time around. I think it was just a roll. It was just a roll chance. Because the Aerial Ace doesn't do, like, super a large amount, but Rock Slide... Theoretically sh sh should kill, right? You're kidding me! I hate when stuff like this happens. Every time I play through Pokemon, there's always that- there's always some instance, at some point, and it usually happens actually kind of frequently, um, where I tend to go for a kill and I hope it kills, and it should kill, but then the Pokemon just- the enemy just, you know, leaves off at 1 HP. I'm just sitting there like, looking like the- the one- the two-eyed Mike Wazowski, looking at the camera. But, yeah, we did that though, okay. So this is basically just gonna be a fighting episode, as you could probably imagine. This would be a perfect time to actually, like, talk to someone. <laughs> Kinda wish Chris was here, but that's besides the points. Hold up, I need to- can I- hold up, wait, can I- Can you not? Oh. Interesting, because I remember in Fire Red Leaf Green, you can actually hold down B. And it basically lets you, um, lets you stop. You stop moving with your bike. Apparently that's not a thing in this game. Kinda wish it was, but... So if that's the case, I can't use the dowsing machine at all in this route. <laughs> Maybe like later down, um, but for now, no. Not the case at all. I guess Charles is probably going to be using a lot of rock slides against these coughings and wheezings. It's, it's his only choice. And let's get the flinch. Let's get it. Charles, always going to be a really good team member. Something I need to really figure out though with Charles is what the hell I'm gonna make his last move. Cause Crunch, Earthcake, Earthcake? What the heck is an Earthcake? I am willing to see something like that. Um, Earthquake and Rock Slide is gonna be upgraded for a different move later on. But those three moves will be permanent on Charles. Aside from Rock Slide, but a move just like it is going to replace it. Obviously the last move being Thrash, it's a very good move. It's a very, very solid move. 
a very solid normal type move. However, it's not one I want to keep, like, forever on Charles. There are, there's one, I guess, kind of move that I want to teach Charles, or like a certain like set of moves, but I'm just needing to figure out which one of those that I want to use. There's also between like those and like Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw is another one I really want to teach on Charles, but I'm just like, do I really need it? Because I feel like he would benefit more from those other three moves. Speaking of which, those other three moves I can't even learn until I'm at the final evolution, so that's kind of funny. Oh, and here comes the Confuse Ray. Hell oh boy. Every, I'm pretty sure every Magmar I fought in this game has had Confuse Ray. I might be mistaken, maybe like the early Magmars didn't, but like for the most part, it's been absolutely stupid how many Magmars have had Confuse Ray in this game. And there's probably gonna be more. There's probably gonna be many more coming up later on. We're already in the post game, but it's like still kind of early post game that we're currently in. So I mean, like, who knows what's gonna happen? Still a good bit to go. Got another train right here. Thank goodness I didn't go to the left because that would have been a um, a double battle, which wouldn't have been bad, but you know, didn't exactly want to do it. So Viper, okay. So Viper's a really cool Pokemon. I mean, I think we can all agree that his rival, Zangoose, is a far better Pokemon, TBH, but the Viper's pretty sick. I like his design a lot. And I just like the whole idea of him having a, a rivalry with Zangoose. It's a very, very cool concept. It's really, it's really nice when Pokemon just gives, like, certain rivalries to certain Pokemon. Like, I'm pretty sure we're not gonna, like, get the, to these Pokemon until Gen 5, until Black and White, but I mean, two other Pokemon that have rivalries are Heatmore and Durant, and that there's like a whole thing with them. It's a lot, um, but like that rivalry is kind of interesting because one has a clear advantage against the other, so I don't know, it's more just like a predator versus prey kind of thing. Not really much of a rivalry, as besides the point. We got a Skorupi. I think it's... I want to say it's just poison type, but it might be bug poison. I don't remember. Never mind, it's just a bug type. Okay. So it isn't until Drapion, its evolution, that uh, it, be it becomes a poison type. Alright, buddy. That's fine. Get out of here. Thrash. That might have been stupid, because if he has a second Pokemon, I may be a little screwed here. Okay, he doesn't. Thank goodness. Whew. <laughs> a little worried there. I was like, I don't want to have to like be stuck in Thrash. Oh! And we made it. To Route 18. However, you know me, I'm not gonna just like leave it at that. We're gonna go all the way back up Route 17 and we're going to start on the other path because there are trainers here and I want to fight them. <laughs> so, you know, that's what I get for just being really heavy on wanting to get experience in this game, even on video. But I mean, if like Pokemon, like in the majority of Pokemon, is either catching stuff or battling. If I don't show like any of that or just like only some of it. What's the point? And that's just my personal opinion. That's how I personally feel about it. But maybe maybe you guys feel differently. I know like uh, many other PokeTubers, or just people that have done Pokemon series on their on, yeah, on their channels, uh, they tend to skip a lot when it comes to like stuff in this game. They only, they of course, leave in like gym battles, Pokemon League battles. Uh, a lot of time when they catch a Pokemon, I can understand like cutting out. Like wild Pokemon encounters, especially when it's just like a nuisance and you just don't really want like need if you're gonna run away anyways, then I can get that, right? Um, but I personally never understood the idea of you know, those people I guess cutting out a lot of trainer battles. Because again, that in my personal opinion, that is a really, really big part of Pokemon. And maybe I just like the idea of showing off every battle in the game. Maybe not every wild Pokemon fights, but every, like, actual fight fight, trainer fights, you know, I just like the idea of that, and just doing that, um, so, I mean, it's cool, especially since you can listen to this dope-ass music just over and over again. Kinda reminds me, it's like, I wonder why they changed the, the music so much when we came over to Kanto, like, wild Pokemon music? Trainer music, gym leader music, that's all changed as we made our way to Kanto. I guess, you know what? 
I can't fully complain because it kind of gives more variety in this game, and I think it's really cool. Speaking of not cool, um, Tentacruel, that's here. I guess, honestly, I just want to get, like, through with this. Tentacruel is just the best, um, you know, one to just take care of a Thor. Instead of just doing neutral damage with, like, Dory, or even, uh... Dory would have been- oh my gosh, I freaking forgot about that. I literally just put Psychic on Dory. And I already forgot to just, like, I already forgot about it, basically. So, that's cool. You know, that's how it'd be usually. Forget about the like the most recent things. How did it kills beyond me? Quick clock coming in clutch. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I guess like one thing I could kind of um well it didn't really come to mind, but I mean speaking of Pokemon, as we're still, you know, playing Pokemon and just kinda of grinding in battles right now. Uh, Pokemon Go as uh, kind of well at, at the around the time of recording this at least not of releasing obviously um, but the, around the time around the time of recording uh, a certain event a year round not a year round but a yearly event called po po Go Fest that's currently going on currently this weekend that I'm recording this is Go Fest uh, New York City right which I am currently in New York City right now. Right, I'm not back in Arizona, I'm not like somewhere else. I'm like in New York City, I could have done this event if I really wanted to. Um, as, especially since like, plans for this weekend kind of fell through and I'm just kind of stuck at home all weekend as per usual. Um, but for some reason I just decided not to go for the events? I mean, cause like next week, next weekend is going to be... Um... Go Fest Global, the global event that can be accessed from anywhere, right? And I was mainly just like kind of preparing myself for that weekend instead of this weekend because I didn't expect myself to be free for this weekend. Um, but it kind of does make me regret not getting the ticket for um, for the event this weekend. But I don't know. It is whatever. I'm gonna do a bunch of grinding next weekend, anyways. Because I think, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the event goes on from three for three days. It's from Friday in the morning to like Sunday in the evening, and uh, there's gonna be a lot of time to grind. I want to grind all three days, but Friday I feel like is gonna be a day where I can't exactly do much because I got a little bit of, you know, plans for that day. Uh, also, hey, another number, three numbers in just one route. That's kind of crazy. Uh, but then Saturday Sunday is gonna be nuts, and I'm very very excited about that. I mean, I would love to be you know release this <laughs> before the event happens, but it's not going to happen at all in time. So um, I mean, if you guys did by any chance do play Pokemon Go and did take care of Go Fest, let me know how it went. So I wanna I wanna know your guys' opinions if you even like you know did it. Uh, but yeah, we're almost done with this area. We're literally now on Route si uh, seven 17? Or we are on currently... No, Route 18! We just did 17. Okay, I'm being stupid. We're uh, about to reach uh, Fuchsia! I might as well just... I mean, it doesn't even matter, like, not spoiling it, because... We've been here before in the last game, so it doesn't really matter. And plus, they even, like, someone in the game said, Hey, this is the way to Fuchsia! Have fun! So I'm gonna do that. Poison, of course. I hate that. Oh my gosh, it does so much damage. I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna go to Dory because she has Psychic. He has Psychic. I forget Dory's a freaking male. Uh, I always associate with Lapras with like the female gender. I don't know why, it's just something I do. But let's show off Psychic for the first time. I mean, we showed it off uh, in the last game, Fire Ridley 3 and with Gengar because my Gengar had Psychic. And, as you can tell, it's a very good move, especially if it gets a crit, so that's really cool. At level 47, nice. I'm trying to figure out if I want to charm- oh, perfect freaking timing. I wonder if, a, if uh, I want to teach Lapras one more move, because obviously Psychic, Ice Beam, Surf, 100% keeping, my Lapras is a special attacker, these are the moves I want to have on it. Waterfall, however, is one I'm not 100% sure about keeping. Yes, there are still going to be instances where I need to use Waterfall. However, it's not as much of a necessity in this game as it is in other Pokemon games. Um, 
it's like I could in theory get rid of waterfall and replace it with a move that Dory will have much more of a use for. Oh my gosh, I forgot about the poison. <laughs> it just like exited my mind immediately. All right, what do you have to say? Cycling runners all uphill from this end is really challenging, although it may be interesting to go up once pushing really hard on the pedals. I mean, probably good exercise, but I'm not the one actually like in the game. Oh, we have a few Pokemon trainers here. We might as well take care of this before we end up today's episodes. And judging by their... I don't really have much for healing. I have a fresh water, but that's about it. I'll use it, I guess. Not gonna do much at Hold up. Oh, I don't want to, but I'm using full restore. I have four of these suckers, so I might as well. I'm trying to think about who I can use. Oh, this next gym, actually, now that I think about it, I think it's gonna be like a mix of Charles and Dory. So we'll see what that what that has in store. But yeah, Judging by their sprites, these are gonna be uh one of the or two of the flying type guys. And flying type trainers, you know, I have a move called Rock Slide. So you can kind of see where this is going. Um, they're kind of get, gonna get destroyed here. Although Noctowl is a little bit spooky, and I only have one rock slide. Damn it! Oh man, I wish I was a little bit more prepared, but it is what it is. Please kill. Thank you. Okay. So I don't have uh, rock slide anymore, which really sucks. Oh, that was it. Okay. I'll take it. You're going to have another bird type. Is there any items here? No, there is not. Oh wait, we're on round 18. We might as well just like talk about the Pokemon real quick. <laughs> it's not much, but like we might as well just real quickly, right? It wouldn't hurt. So the Pokemon you can get here are basically the exact same as the previous routes. Um, you know, Firo, Grimer, Muck, Slugma. That's cool, Slugma 5%. Muck is actually interesting because he can be caught for he can be accounted for five percent um, in the date in the morning and the, the afternoon, but at night he can uh, be caught at fifteen percent. So kind of interesting. It's like at certain levels too. It's like kind of dependent. Uh, we're gonna get to Dory. Can just use an ice beam on him. Uh, for headbutting in Group A, you can find Hootoot, Ledaba, Spinarak, and Wormpool. So that's interesting. Ledaba only in Soul Silver. Spinarak only in Heart Gold. Um, in Group B, you can find Tangela, Hoot Hoot, and Wormpool. And for special Pokemon, the exact same as the previous two routes. Plus one Minin for the Hoenn sound, and Shinx for the Sinnoh sound. So, nothing really too special. It's a very short route anyways, there's like three trainers, a, a bit of grass and some trees, and that's about it. Not, no, not items at all, so not really much to really make note of. Because what's important is what's going to be happening to the right of this route. And we'll see that in just a moment. First, let me destroy this freaking Dodo with an Ice Beam. So, yeah, let me do that. What is going on outside? I don't think you guys can hear that. It's because of the music. Um, well, the in-game music and sounds. Uh, but, like, some idiots are, like, playing music, I think, out of their car. I'm just like, come on, at this time, what are you trying to do? Why, why are you trying to be a moron? But we made it! to Fuchsia City, which is pretty cool. And we can go take on the gym right now. We're not going to because, you know, we of course have to heal first, which the Pokemon Center is right here. And we're gonna be ending off today's episode. So yes, thank you all so much for watching today's episode of Pokemon Harkle Soul Silver. In the next one, we will be uh, exploring Fuchsia City. We're gonna be exploring the city first, I feel, and then taking on the gym. You know, I think just a nice chill episode again will be kind of nice. I don't know if we'll have time to take on the gym next episode. We can see. We'll find out. What? I'm Janine. Hocus Pocus. Poof. See? I look just like her now. Huh? Didn't work? What the frick is Janine? I don't know a Janine. Hey, you have a Pokedex. Did Professor Oak get that to you? Yes, he did. What, did he? Was it Oak? Yeah, I think it was Oak. I was thinking if it was Elm, but I'm pretty sure it was Oak. I got quite a shock at the gym. There were all these girls who looked identical. Girls? What? No male gym leader as it usually is in this game? Or in Kanto? That's gonna be very interesting, huh? Anyways, yeah, stay tuned for that. Subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Social media including Twitch, Second Channel Music Channel, VOD Channel, down below in the description. And, I mean, that's about it. <laughs> I was gonna say Chris's stuff, but he's not even here with me. So, I'll see you next time. Pop-Tart! Out.